Greetings and welcome to a very important video all about a very important technique as far as I'm concerned anyway. <laughs> oh, hello, so yes, I am at the studio, Corner House Studios, home of Papa Luke Grek, the greatest individual in Malta. Um, just unboxing some pedals, got some down here. They look really, really tasty. So I've got a whole load of these awesome looking JHS fuzz pedals, legends of fuzz, um, four of them. And I know a lot of people have done reviews slash demonstrations of these pedals already, and they look really good. And I'm excited to try something a little bit different with some, some vintage amplifiers. They're all sort of, um, they're a homage to the classic fuzz pedals of yore that everyone gets excited about. Um, so I'm excited to play them, and I thought what I'd do is I would put them through uh, Papa Grex's vintage Fender. Because at the moment, I'm really enjoying, and I've never enjoyed before, but for me, I'm loving the sound of this twin. There's something about it. I think what it is is it's been ragged to shit for years. <laughs> the speakers are all loose, and um, the valves, they need replacing, but... I don't think Luke wants to replace them because they sound amazing right now. So I think I'll put them through that. Anyway, let's talk about pinch harmonics. I can't believe I'm teaching this because to be honest with you, I get I get quite a bit of shit for teach well for doing this. <laughs> Thing is, I come from well, I mean I was born in 75, but really I come from the 80s. I'm an 80s guy because that's when I grew up. And in the 80s, the kind of music that people listened to on the guitar was rock and metal, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was Van Halen, Joe Satriani. If you were a guitar player, you were into the kind of guy that would squeal the living hell out of a guitar. And for me, it was Pride and Glory. I saw the band Pride and Glory, Zach Wild, absolute, total, complete legend. And when he hit this pinched harmonic, I was just like, mm, what is that? It was the most gurn inducing experience I, I, I kind of, I'd been through in, in absolutely years. And so I wanted to work out how it was done. And about, I don't know, three weeks later in a couple of lessons with a friend of mine called Mark Wilmot. Mark, if you're still around, say hi, because I miss you. Um, I'd worked it out. And then I discovered that not many people in my locality could do it. And it was kind of, I mean, back then, it was kind of a cool thing to be able to do. So I really harnessed it and used it a lot, you know, live in all the bands I played with and kind of, I know I overdo it a little bit now, but it's because I come from that time and it was such a cool technique to be able to do. And I, I, it kind of gave me an edge that I could do it. And I learned that if you fretted further up the guitar, you could alter the sound. And then that's what Joe Satch was doing and Steve Vai was doing it too. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I get a bit of shit for doing this technique because I think a lot of people think it's a bit cheesy. It is cheesy. I like that. Um, I like that it is um, a time capsule of, of something shreddy. I like that, unashamedly. And I'm going to teach you because I've actually been asked a lot by people to teach this technique. And it really surprised me. I never thought I'd be teaching this. In fact, I have taught this years ago, but I guess I've got over 2,000 videos online now, so some people can't find the old videos or maybe they don't look through them. I have a lot of videos. So um, I kind of thought, let's give it a go. I'll teach you how to do artificial harmonics. I'm going to use a Gibson Les Paul in honour of the incredible Zachary Wild. Um, Father Wild, if you ever watch this video, I love you deeply. And uh, yeah, let's see how this thing sounds after it's been severely abused by Papa Greg. I'm going to plug it into the fender, 
I'm going to use an overdrive pedal from Attic Audio here in Malta. Let's get the squeal on. Luke just came out with this thing. Yep. Which is the, what is it, DJI? DJI, um, uh, it's a Nosmo 3, which is basically a handheld gimbal for your mobile phone. It's amazing. So we're going to film the next part of this, this demonstration using this particular robotic arm um, application. Yes. <laughs> because what you could do, show them how you swipe and select so an area. Basically you select an area, let's say I want to focus on the Vox logo. Yeah. So if I move, the phone remains fixed. On that area. Exactly, see? So the phone is rotating. That's amazing. I love that we're using a phone on the phone. And yes. that means that, that Luke, can, can, yeah, <laughs> Luke can select my picking hand and then it doesn't matter how he moves, it'll lock onto that particular part of my hand. Exactly. Cut to me squealing. <laughs> we're having a couple of teething issues with the gizmo, but it's still gonna look sick. So Fender Twin, Luke's very kindly lent me his custom shop, uh, Les Paul, mm -hmm. which I've slung as low as I can with this strap. It's not low enough, but please forgive me. Attic Audio. <laughs> Chief Screamer. systems look at it. Here's the thing, you can't do, well you can do pinched harmonics without gain, but you won't really hear them, it'll sound like this. So it doesn't sound very exciting. You need gain and you really need a treble pickup because the bass pickup will not give you the frequencies that you want to, to come out. All you're going to do is really simple, you're going to pick the string nice and hard, imagine if you will this finger was a string. The plectrum goes through the string, picking the string, and as soon as that note is fired off, the flesh on the thumb touches the string afterwards, but in one fell swoop. So, you see I've got a lot of thumb flesh poking out near this plectrum, so the string will get picked, and then it'll get touched by the thumb flesh. That means that you can turn it on or off by kind of rolling your thumb one way or the other when you pick, as a result, I can either have or I can Same lick, two different ways, one with a pinch harmonic and one without a pinch harmonic. The choice is entirely yours. 80s and shred, noughties and dead, I don't know. <laughs> Something that was funny and made sense. So the way you practice it is just to have a slight angle on the pick. And as you pick, you rub your thumb over the string. You see that? Pick and rub your thumb. And here is a close up of that happening. that thank you for watching please subscribe abuse the bell which is somewhere around here like or dislike totally up to you it all makes the greater good even greater have a great day stay safe Check us out <laughs>